Hey, welcome back to Bliss's Ridge, where people should be waking up here pretty soon and getting back to work. But I gotta confess, I am already regretting a choice I made last time, and that's the choice to put all of these graves right here. I think that was a mistake. And while people are getting up and getting their breakfast and so on, I'll tell you why. I'm thinking, you know, we're in an area where this kind of land is a scarce resource. Let's check out. Um, oh, great. On top of everything else, Nick has been insulted. Why? Who insulted you? Xanet insulted Nick. Not a good thing. Oh, while we're here, I keep forgetting this. Hold it. Are dogs being attacked by a cougar? Okay, well, we'll get back to what I was going to say here in a minute because it's time to get to work. You go ahead and fire at him. Uh, Max, where are you? You're way down there because you're going to feed him berries to Sammy. That's fine. You get up here too. Let's try to protect our dog from this cougar. There we go. No, don't hit the dog oh, for Pete's sake. You hit our dog. Zanet, that was not what I wanted. Max is still on his way. Actually, with your distance, Max, you can you hit him from there? I think maybe you can't just because there's stuff in, in the way. Um, yeah, you can't hit the target. Uh, Max, come to maybe about there. Actually, just to, actually no, just about there you should be able to hit him. All right, good, good. Cougar is dead. Nice. Get some cougar meat. How is our dog doing? Downed. Whoa. Bit, bit, bit. Right front leg, or front left leg, torn off, nose bitten off. Wow, our poor dog is not doing well at all. We need to get a uh, sleeping area for Renee here so somebody can take care of him. I think it'll be actually Nick. And I just draft everybody. There we go. Um, hold it. Nick, are you not our doctor? Am I forgetting? No, you're our doctor. Why don't you come and... Oh, Max is doing it already. All right, you take care of it, Max. Um, I think we'll be okay. As long as you treat him quickly. Come on. Okay, it, it is getting done. All right, um... A solar flare, that sucks. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Number of things I was starting to say got distracted by this little thing that just happened. The first thing I keep forgetting to mention is that Bjorn and Max are brothers. So they kind of like each other a bit for that. And Sammy apparently really likes Bjorn. Oh, because Bjorn's been... Yeah, trying to convince him. I just missed the percentage there, but anyway. Um, yeah, so we're working on that. Cooking is not getting done because we're still not getting... Well, no, we could get stuff chopped. It's just not getting sorted out, I guess. Uh, these are not high-quality patches. I hope that uh, Max is going to pull through. Now, what I was starting to say before. So we've got... A precious commodity in land here and it makes sense to me that everywhere where there's like growable area we should keep that free for being able to grow so I want to be able to use like non-growing area for places to live so I'm thinking like in here we're gonna dig this out put my bedrooms in here but we want to extend that out into this area a bit as well I think so I think that's going to be part of what we're going to get working on today. I did put in this power because I wanted to put a light bulb in there. 
And actually, uh, I want to put a battery in too. But batteries are ugly, and keeping things looking nice is not exactly a priority, but at least something that we want to try to get done to some extent. So that's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, um, yes, Max still tending to the dog, putting the dog in the sleeping spot. Hope he's going to be okay. I'm actually thinking, let's... Go ahead and uh, do, should we just kill this cougar preemptively? I'm just not sure. Cougar, I mean, they will attack back. This uh, Thumbros is just hanging out with us. Oh, this Thumbros has asthma. I didn't know that was a thing. Apparently, that is a thing. Anyway, so asthma. Uh, but yeah, okay. So let's see. This that that psychic drone is over, so we can go ahead and put people on kind of a reasonable schedule now. I'm gonna go with the one I usually use, which has uh, actually three hours of joy in the morning, two hours of anything at night, and a bunch of work in the meantime. But getting up at five, it's an early morning on the Rim World. And yeah, and then we need to get working on building this colony out. Now, it really does feel like I mean, stuff is... Is Xanet our hauler? Is that why nothing's getting hauled? Yeah, Xanet is our hauler. We should probably have Max haul as well when he's not doing anything else. So that would get stuff done. And no one is set to clean at all. That sounds kind of wrong as well. So like everybody should be on a four for cleaning. There's nothing else they can go ahead and do that. And uh, this needs to get planted in here too. So it's getting worked out. Well, it's nighttime. People will sleep and we'll come back and see how they're doing here in a few moments. All right. It's morning and people are getting up. Bjorn is going to come down here, feed Sammy. All right. We're still eating raw food. Oh, Max is cooking now though. So that's good. Hopefully we'll get those back up. Has Bjorn tried to chat up Sammy today? There we go. There we go. All right, Sammy, you know you want to join us. You know this is what you want to do. 8.9% chance. So there. So what you're saying is there is a chance. Uh, and we should actually give Sammy a bed. That'll make her a little happier. So Bjorn, I think uh, it's not working actually. I don't want to haul it. All right, fine. No bed. Yeah, I slept on ground. I don't know. Maybe you'll take it at night. Anyway, let's go ahead uh, and tr start. Well, we got to work on something. I mean, it makes sense. We can work on the bedrooms. I think let's start working on this room here a little bit more. So, uh, tattered apparel is a problem. You know, actually, I take it back. Let's do one more bit of growing. We'll put it right here for right now. That's a pretty big zone, actually. Let's just make the half of that. Um, so we'll make two zones we'll do. We'll put one just right like that. And then another one. I think this will work if I start from down here like that. Yeah, two separate growing zones. This one, we will put down some cloth, some cotton. And this one, actually, I'm not sure yet. Maybe uh, eventually we're going to want some hay, but for right now, I'm going to put strawberries in there because the berries are something that we can eat without the negative buffs. Now, we did have that one muffalo self-tame, and I think it was the one that we had, so or the one that we were trying to tame anyway. So I'm still looking if there's a male muffalo. There's really not. So let's try to tame maybe two more of these guys. Because we're going to want them for a little bit of traveling back and forth. And we've also got this in right here. Let's set a bill to make some blocks. Make any... Oh, that's nice. I like that now that you can choose what kind to make. Well, we'll just do any. Uh, we'll make the ingredient radius reasonably small. Like, so it just covers 
the yeah the immediate area including the area that we've got right there we'll let anybody do it and then we'll just drop it on the floor when we're done so we can get some of that done as well and once we have some blocks start using the blocks in building because we want to get some some get our place a bit nicer but let's go ahead and uh, do some mining in here and also Let's set in a little bit more building to do. Let's put in a chess table. And maybe a couple of, a couple more dining chairs. How are these ones? They're poor and awful. So yeah, awful actually gives negative beauty and poor does give some beauty. So we're trying to, yeah, have a beautiful place to live in. So that's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but they are making it a little bit better, which is good. All right, sleep's getting disturbed. We're, we do need to get bedrooms up pretty soon, but I want to get this. This is going to be our dining room when all is said and done. So I want to get kind of started on expanding that out. And then we need to start. Ah, dang it. All right. Bjorn, attack the cougar. Xanit, go to there. Uh, Max, go to there. Just, you know, I thought maybe I should have attacked the cougar before. Fire at the cougar. Actually, you'll get a, you'll do better at a, a distance, Max. That's not a great distance, but it's something. All right, you're doing it already. No, our dog died. It's gonna make Bjorn sad. Ah, oh, Pete's sake. All right. Sorry, Bjorn. The first death of the colony. Our dog has died. Oh, and our freaking muffalo is gah, getting in there. All right. We got to keep our muffalo out of our food. It's not cool. In fact, let's... Maybe just pasture the muffalo for right now. Well, there's so little. So that's what, that's what I was thinking, and I'm going to do it, actually that we should put in some hay to be done as well. Anyway. New area. Um, I don't know what to call this. We'll call it uh, no fridge. And now what we can do is we can set the no fridge area for the fridge. Whoops, that's fine. And then we will go back to here. Uh, animals, there we go. Manage the areas, invert that, and then set actually both of our animals to there. So get out of there, Muffalo. Stop eating my food. And let's set you to be trained. And I was suggested that we take our rhinoceros and train our rhinoceros also uh, for releasing so we'll do that as well all right back on this yeah you're building that which is good bjorn how you holding up with the death of your animal which probably you should go butcher now as sad as that is oh maybe you'll recruit sammy first come on sammy you can tell how much fun we're having here right you want to join us no you don't want to join us all right Okay, oh good, it's a muffalo milk. That's good. We're keeping things, keeping it real here. Uh, who is set to mine? Nick is set to mine when he's done constructing. That seems about right. Uh, and somebody should be cooking here, yeah? Somebody should be cooking. Max should be cooking. Why is Max not cooking? Now he's cooking. All right, there you go, Max. Way to keep it up. Okay, the mining is started in there to get this room a bit bigger. We do have a tattered apparel problem. And what is our supply of leathers look like right now? Oh, a party. That's such a great idea. Max is throwing a party. And Max, I am impressed by your forth forethought. And an escape pod is crashed nearby. Crand, a hired gun, is downed. 
he's for a hired gun he has got terrible terrible accuracy because he's trigger happy that's why he can't do caring social or plant work he was a rich boy and a hired gun but we could still use him we just need more bodies right now we're just kind of it's taken forever to get stuff done that's sammy's bed like we've done in the past we can put in a um sleeping spot actually and how happy or sad is sammy right now not very happy for oh he's naked too huh hungry let's bjorn i'm glad you're ha attending the party but i'm gonna have to interrupt you i think to go and deliver sammy some food and maybe Matt, well, Max, you threw the party. Nick, you need the help. Xanat, maybe you can come and capture um, Crand here. And actually, how are Crand's, what's his health situation? Some gunshots. Uh, what kind of, what kind of situation were you in on that ship that you had to have, you got shot by a gun? Okay, party is finished. Did Bjorn get the boost or not? Yeah, he did get the boost. How about Xanet? Uh, he didn't. I guess if you're at the party when it ends, you get the boost. Otherwise, you don't. Kranz, you might die overnight, which is bad. Nick, you should probably come and treat him now. Let's give him some nice, decent e-medicine. Because that death in some hours is not very good. It's dirty in here, so you might die of infection anyway. But we'll give it. We'll give him a shot. We'll see if we can do something for him. And let you that everyone else can have their sleep. All right, morning's about to come. Crand, I think, is all patched up. He's not going to die, at least of bleeding, anytime soon. I turned off the learning helper because I don't know why it was on. It was bothering me, but. The thing we need to do next is we got to get some ourselves some uh, clothes. We'll just like to some t-shirts and trousers or something. We got naked people, people with tattered apparel. So let's go ahead and put in a hand tailoring bench. Right, maybe here. Um, oh, Xanet successfully tamed a muffalo and named her Muffalo 2. I hate these names. The naming conventions of these people is crazy. So we have two Muffalo now. And you know, it's re I'll be honest, it's real tempting to me. Real tempting to go ahead and come out to here and do some trading. It's not that far. I think we can make it in a day. If you look at the terrain, it's like one hour. It's like, this is like two, and a, two, a little more than two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven hours to get there. The thing is, I don't know what we would trade. But Sammy, great, Sammy has been recruited. So Sammy is a female, so that means it's time to do another draw. Okay, so Sammy here is, uh, got a peg leg here, is actually naked and unhappily naked now we do have some clothes here no trousers it seems we've got a uh, duster and a t-shirt but you notice this d next to it and that means it's uh from a dead person and so they'll get a debuff if they wear it let's actually have sammy just come and wear the shirt i just want to see how much of a debuff it is because right now uh it's minus six for the naked debuff and now we look and, oh, it doesn't have it. Maybe it'll take a minute to put it on. Um, we don't have any trousers though. So yeah, I guess she's just gonna, you know, still be unhappy. So we get some made, we don't have this made. So we'll let's go ahead and put in a bill. Uh, let's make some pants. Let's make a t-shirt. I'm gonna do it like this. Um, 
And the reason, I'm not sure how it works, but if we run out of, if we don't have enough to make like two pairs of pants, I want to make sure these two get made first before we kind of jump down to these two. And someone's going to have to do that. Who is a good crafter? Sammy is actually a decent-ish crafter. So we, um, and a decent doctor. So we'll go ahead and have her do, let's see, we'll come, we'll come back to all this in a minute. For right now, let's just make sure she's tailoring. She can get started on that right away. And since she's got a t-shirt on, we'll have her do, do the pants first. Okay. After she eats. Now, let's go ahead and see uh, who she is. So first of all, I did the drawing. I went, stop for a second, went and did the drawing, come back. And the uh, winner of the draw, as it were, was no one at all. By which I do not mean that nobody, yeah, dead man t-shirt, minus three, so not as bad as the naked buff. Anyway, which I don't mean nobody won. I mean that the person, no one at all, and I believe it's a zero there for one, is uh, the winner. So welcome, no one at all, or no one, as I'll call you for short, or maybe even just no. As a child, you were a joy wire addict. Your wealthy parents provided everything you ever wanted. After discovering joy wires, you became obsessed. Once your parents realized what had happened, they cut you off. Uncaring and often violent, you sought your next joy wire fix by any means possible. But you're a prostophobe, so you will not be happy if we just stick a joy wire inside you. I think, I think that counts as, um, like, bionics, but maybe I'm wrong about that. And then after, re oh, this, this is awesome. These, like, actually work together. After recovering from a joy wire addiction, no one adopted a non-violent way of life and vowed to help others. Traveling between communities used medicine, arts, and crafts to aid others who struggled with their own addictions. So... How did you end up as a pirate? No one. That seems kind of weird. Anyway, so you can't do intellectual or cleaning, but you can haul, which is spectacular. You're a night owl, a careful shooter, and a prostophobe. Uh, pretty good. Lots of passions for all of these things and pretty good at artistic and crafting. So you are probably going to be our crafter. And hopefully, in fact, we'll do this right now. You will tailor first, and then, yeah, after you tailor, you'll craft and smith and that kind of stuff. Um, maybe you should, after, uh, you should be hauling at some point, too. And then, I think you can handle as well. That'd be a good idea. But maybe not, unless you have nothing else to do. Uh, so it'd be a four. And hunting, I think we're okay with Max for the hunting for right now. But that reminds me, we might need him to do a little bit more hunting. We also should put you on... We need a bed for you. But we also should put you on... Um, uh, a schedule. But you're a night owl, so we'll give you a night owl schedule. We'll give you... Let's see. One, two, three... So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours of sleep right in the uh let's do it like that and then we'll give you uh two hours of joy before bed one when you first wake up and then two hours of anything after your joy because i think if people don't get joy when they first wake up they spend their whole awake time kind of grouchy we don't want that but yeah you'll be a night owl uh the rhino will be in here for reasons i don't fully understand cleaning's getting done how is our barracks it's mediocre, which is actually better than awful. So with that done and stuff getting made, I think, are you still naked here, no one? You still are. Uh, okay, it's deteriorating because it's unroofed. Yeah, we do have, we got problems still. So we need to make an actual area that's covered where we'll be doing the crafting and stuff like that but we'll we'll do that in the morning and let people go to sleep again okay it's morning and no one finished making those pants overnight 
So uh, only the Dead Man's T-shirt debuff. So once we get uh, another shirt made, we can have you take that off. Okay, we're harvesting some rice. Our food supplies are starting to pick up. I'm feeling good about that. I'm thinking it's time to be thinking about some bedrooms. And I'm thinking, let's put the bedrooms up here. So let's actually, I wanna dig out some mining first. So here, here, let me back up. Here's my idea. My idea is we'll have, we'll have the freezer right here. We'll keep this right here, I think, for the prisoners. I think that works really well. And we can actually put a door. We can expand the freezer out. I'm gonna keep the freezer and this dining room area. Actually keep them squares and then have diamond shapes for other things kind of moving around it. I think some bedrooms up here, people can wake up, come down here, get their food, come to the dining room and eat it is how I'm going to want to do it. And I, I'm not sure, we're still toying with the bedrooms, but I think like a three by three room will work. So a way to do a three by, if this is the wall here, I'm just trying to think of what a three by three bedroom would look like. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess that would look right. Uh, let's have someone kind of come and dig it out. Let's look at it and see how that looks. Also, I don't know. I think blocks aren't quite getting done yet, but it makes sense to me also to just get a few blocks up. One th other thing we really need to get on really soon is some real kind of more serious defenses. I think the way to do that will be just to close off this right here as much as we can to force people to, you know, invaders to kind of come in this way and just kind of make this area defensible. I'm not yet thinking it's time to try to have a, uh, like a entryway kind of kill box. Eventually I'm going to want to wall this whole corridor in and this will be kind of our outside corridor and then our base will extend out this way, but that's long-term planning. So sleeping again, we'll give uh, another good night and we'll see him in the morning. Okay, a friendly AI from your past named Charlton Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its world coordinates. If you travel the ship, Carlton will take you off this rim world to the stars. Whoa, checked it. Okay, so right there. Uh, where are we in all this? I don't even remember where to find us. Okay, I found us. We're right there. It's hard to find us because this almost got a dark blue and us were this light blue. They're so close. It, unless they're side by side, you can't really see them. But so we're there and this flag that the AI gave us is over here. And it looks like there's no path this way. There's no boats in this game. So to get there, we would have to go, I guess we go down this way and across and back up. That's amazing. Um, all right, all right. So that's, that's, what, that's what's going on here. So cool. That's really that's really neat. So let's go ahead, uh, return to our place. I think that's what we're going to do. I, I was thinking of making a big, maybe we will. I'm still thinking about how exactly to do this, but that's the challenge. We are not, we're not going to make a ship. We're not going to like research our way up there. We are going to travel to it. We'll have to come down this way, come down and around and kind of back up. It's going to be quite a journey, but I guess that means we shouldn't be thinking about like really setting down a lot of routes. We should be thinking about like designing ourselves in a way that we can move and we'll do, I mean, we can't just do it all at once. That'd be crazy. So what we'll do is we have a little colony. We'll make the little colony here. We'll try to actually, let's see if we can get like all of these guys tamed, get as many muffalo tamed as we can that one's already ours so we can have as much kind of carrying capacity and then we'll just let's move from place to place we'll build up a supply of food we need to get some weapons and build up you know stuff to be good strong travelers like 
probably take some resources with us to build stuff on the way. And then we'll come and we'll like make another colony, maybe kind of down in here. And we got to be careful because we got like path around these things, but abandon our first colony, come to the second one. I think that's the way we're going to do this because as I said, what I really want to do in this playthrough is really focus on like the new features. So I think that would be awesome. So that is my plan. That's how we're going to go ahead and do this. But that is all the time we have for today. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.